that's so crazy. That's what I was thinking it was gonna do, like that it was gonna create like a luminescence that, so. It looked animated. So, what is going on everybody? Today we are gonna be talking, testing, and demonstrating some of the uh, coolest little lure modifications that I've come about in the fishing industry. So what modifications are we talking about? That is gonna be your swim bait armor. It is gonna protect you from your hooks from giving the actual bait rash. Uh, and then there's gonna be the swim bait tracers. Now, both of these modifications are gonna be used on your bigger baits, hard plastic baits. Uh, and more or less what they are used for is to trace your bait throughout the water and to protect the hook rash that they receive on these baits. So JDM baits and big bass fishing has become very popular here in the United States in the last few years. And uh, a lot of these baits cost a lot of money. So a real good thing to do, you know, when you're tossing a thousand dollar bait, some of these baits cost up to a thousand dollars. I'm not even joking. Um, you know, anywhere from a 200 to a thousand dollar bait, you might want to be able to protect that hook rash. On top of that, you might want to know exactly where you're throwing it in the water. And that's what these two modifications are going to be for. So in today's video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to use these, uh, kind of talking about what they are and what they're used for and uh, how you can pick them up. All right, so first things first, these are both available from a company named Hook Rash, and I'm gonna leave a link below so you guys can go ahead and pick them up if you want. Uh, these tracers are gonna be available in multiple colors. I'll show you guys real quick. And then these uh, Hook Rash armor is also gonna be available in multiple sizes and multiple styles. Uh, some of the baits are more specific uh, in shape. Uh, I guess more unique in shape is the word I'm looking for. And uh, they made uh, actual hook rash armor just to protect that specifically. So go on over to their website, take a look at it, see what they have. It is very affordable and it is uh, very worth the modification for these, once again, really expensive baits. But we are going to be putting some of these on there real quick, kind of just doing a demonstration. I'm not going to tell you guys really uh, too much about how to put on stickers. Uh, it, it's not that complicated. So I'm going to just place them on real quick on a few of my swim baits that I personally like using. Uh, I personally want to kind of modify myself and then we'll get out there on the water and kind of test it. I want to demonstrate it for you guys, show you what it looks like. Uh, maybe I'll test some of my baits without them and uh, some of my baits with them. Maybe we'll even put some on out there in the water. I'm not too sure what we're going to be doing today. So let's go ahead and put some of these tracers and uh, maybe some armor on a few of our baits and get out there in the water. Meet you guys out there. Alrighty guys, just got out here on the water. We have the Storm swim bait that we're gonna start with. It has a black back and a silver body. And uh, we're just gonna go ahead and toss it out there without the tracer, see what it looks like. And then we'll go ahead and slap the tracer on there and uh, get a good comparison on the same lure so you guys can see what it looks like in action. So let's get to it. We're gonna start doing our first few casts. As you can see, you got that Storm bait on once again. It is a multi-segment hard plastic swim bait coming in at a whopping seven inches, two and three quarter ounce, I believe. So right around three ounces. Uh, and this water is pretty darn muddy, so I don't know how well it's going to do. I can actually see most of the lure through this murkiness still. Uh, you can see the top, that black really stands out. But I'm not too sure how this is going to do if it starts sinking or if we fish the real, real murky stuff. It actually just disappeared on all. There it is. I don't know if you can see that, but it is not too clear. Swim bait tracers are definitely meant to brighten up your bait, but I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys real quick without it so you can get a good, good idea. Um, as you can see, this black and silver bait is very, very hard to see in this brown, uh, pretty muddy water. We did just have a rain, so that is one reason why it's dirty. But uh, you'll see the difference when we put a tracer on there compared to how it is now. So, now that you guys got a decent idea of what it looks like without the tracer, let's go ahead, pop a tracer on there, so you guys can see exactly what it looks like in comparison. And then let's get to some fish and see if we can really target some of these bass with this uh, bait. I'm not too sure if they'll be biting here. Like I said, it is pretty stormy. We did have a nice rain the last few days, so it might not be the best time to fish big swim baits. I see what you did there. What? Fishing the storm bait after the storm. Fishing the storm bait <laughs> after the storm. That's right. Jimmy over here pulling out puns out of nowhere. That's why I hang out with this guy. Make sure you sub. Bing! <laughs> All right. So let's go get the backpack and get a tracer. All right, 
so we got our tracers right here in our hard tackle and swim bait box i'm thinking i'm gonna go with the orange on this black just because it's gonna pop really cool and it's gonna kind of give me a good idea if it if it would uh look good on the drt i'm really tempted to put it on there but since this is kind of like a limited edition i don't want to mess up that paint uh, if you guys are ever wanting to take off these stickers there is instructions on the back that you do need heat i do not recommend that you just rip them off if you do you know care for the paint that's underneath it might come off with them if you are not careful once again 3m material so it's going to stick really nice and it is going to probably stay for i would say the longevity of these lures i mean as long as you have the lures too unless you're like me and you get them hung up on a tree or like jimmy lose them like once a week so colors once again orange chartreuse and green I am going to pick up that orange. We're going to just get the distance of the sticker with the top of the head. That one looks like it'll do pretty good. It might go past it though. So I might go a little crazy and put the butt of the big one on the front. I like that. I'm going to do that. I'll put the butt of the big one on the front. I want those green ones. You want the green ones? Yeah. Uh, Jimmy, just cut me off, guys. You make sure it's dry. Yeah. I'm sure that's something you want to make sure you're doing too. Don't go out and test these lures and then slap it on there right away and get mad at me because it it didn't stick i mean once again i'm not going to tell you guys how to use stickers so all right peel that off you can see that bottom material it is that 3m it's like a like a band-aid it's got a bunch of x's and whatnot so it stays well put it's not going to rip and tear on you and i'm going to put that heavy front portion i want it to kind of just stand out i mean you can put it like this Ooh, that actually looks better or should I do it like this, Jimmy? No, I like it like that. That looks more like some JDM vibes. All right, so I want the big part to be in front. You guys can do whatever you want with your stickers, but I want it to be big and up front so it stands out and I can see it more in the front than anywhere else. Once I got it on there, just the tip, I'm gonna pull the back portion so it's nice and straight where I want it. And then we'll adhere the rest. It looks like I got a little bit crooked. Got a little bit more on this eyelid. But, dude, that pops, bro. Look at that. That just looks money, Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy's looks cool as hell. On the contender. Dude, that lime green looks so good on the contender. I was worried it wasn't going to stick because the paint. Do you think that's going to stay? I don't know. Give I messed up right here. I... Yeah, you got a little close. No, that's sticking pretty good, bro. So the contender has like a flat paint out. It feels kind of matty. Uh, as you can see, there's some hook rash on it, and it looks kind of like like a silicone finish to it almost. So worried about if it was going to stick. It does stick to the contenders. Not not a worry as far as right now goes. I have to give it a swim test. Googan green, dude. Googan green on the Googan baits. Shout out hook rash, guys. Appreciate you. Appreciate if you guys you are interested, once again, leaving a link below for hook rash so you can pick up these swim bait tracers, the uh, hook bait armor, the hook rash armor as well. Links below. Um, should I put a tail one on? Sometimes people put the tail one on too so you can see the whole lure. I might do that. Yeah. Get like a good, not every segment. I just want like a good idea. Oh, bro, that like glows. Oh my goodness. They didn't see it before, but I got to show them. Look at that in that muddy, muddy water. It just stands out like clear as day. You just see a, it's literally glowing. Yeah. Like that's insane, bro. All right, so now that we got a nice little flash of Jimmy's, uh, I am gonna put the tail on so we can get a good idea. I'm not trying to uh, find the whole lure. I just wanna make sure that if I get close to a rock or something, a log, I know where my hooks are on the bait. Oh, got really crooked on it. Oh, well. <laughs> All right, guys, let's take a look at that new storm bait orange tracer it's like a crimson orange i don't even know what you'd call it it is bright it is mean it's freaking awesome these things are genius because like the bass are never going to see the top portion of this and even if they did this is almost like a, a luminescence to them in the water like this will glow and shine similar to like how bluegills have the uh orange underneath their gills or the chartreuse how it makes it look like the shine of like a shiner or like a shad or something so these things are not going to cause any harm to the bait as far as uh you know appearance wise um, if you do peel them off, like I said, it's going to rip off paint. Um, but look at this thing. It is just popping. I can't... Like, this thing looks money, dude. It looks like it would cost more just to have this kind of stuff on your baits. I really, really am digging that. Once again, hook rash tackle, guys. Tracers, swim bait tracers available in the link below. So, let's get this thing cast and see what it looks like in action. All right, let's get it out there. We're fishing the same... Oh, my God. 
I can see the bait glowing yeah. the entire bit and I can see it moving too. I'm glad I put on the tail because I can see the tail kicking so I can see if it's gliding or if it's just doing a normal little swim. Like right now it's swimming, I can see. Oh my <laughs> God, this is so, I'm like jumping. I'm so excited. Oh, I got so excited I just hooked myself. All right, overhead cast. Oh man, this thing just pops. Swimming it the whole way. Yeah. Dude, it just stands out. There isn't one part of the water I can't see. I'm gonna let it deep down, get down a little bit deeper. Uh, it's a little bit harder to see down there, but it's definitely, it. yeah, you can still definitely see it compared to earlier, not being able to see anything. That is nice. That is nice. Let's get some B-roll. That's what I was thinking it was going to do like that. It was going to create like a luminescence that so it looked animated. So check this out. Jimmy just found out in the video that these things literally glow. And I said earlier, I think that these will create a luminescence. This is almost like a, a luminescence to them in the water. Like this will glow and shine. And this is one thing I've been told in the past, but I've never actually seen in person or like been able to prove it. So very, very bright colors like orange, chartreuse, greens, uh, sometimes even whites, the pearl whites they glow in the water because it refracts the light and creates almost like a light pyramid around the lure and that's what creates that glow that luminescence it literally acts like a black light um and it's crazy to think about and to see it act in action you know it's really really neat but that is one thing that i think is going to help us you know attract some of the bass it's never going to hurt it because it is on top uh, but it's just really cool it is going to always stand out and make it really easy to see the lure as you guys can see so let's get back to fishing this thing i'm glad we're able to show you guys that now let's try to catch some fish everybody so that is going to be it for our video today unfortunately uh we were not able to uh, tag any bass land any fish um or really get any followers i think it has a lot to do with that rain and the weather that we've been having a lot uh here lately here in texas so a lot of rainstorms and uh bad thunderstorms are bringing in that uh, low pressure and the nasty chocolate muddy water but we will keep fishing these tracers in our future videos i do have a whole series dedicated to big baits uh, so if you are interested make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can you know be part of the future videos as well once again, I am going to leave a link below so you can pick these up for our buddies at Hook Rash. Uh, the armor and the tracers are available. They do have a new design uh, and they do have more elaborate designs for different swim baits like the actual Clash. They have more specific armor now to fit those a little bit better and uh, to just make it a little bit easier you know, to apply. Um, but once again, guys, thank you for watching. If you have any questions for me, let me know in the comments below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, link below for Hook Rash. And uh, big shout out to those guys for sending me these tracers and uh, swim bait armor as well. But yeah, that is going to be it for today, guys. Once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.